Hello everyone. We want to take a look at generating reports in File Server Resource Manager. Reports can be generated in File Server Resource Manager that gives you information about files or folders on your server. Let's click on Tools. And let's access File Server Resource Manager. On the left pane, we see that we have Storage Reports Management. So that is a tab that we need to click on. So we're going to double click on that tab. Then we're going to right click and select Generate Reports Now. These reports cannot be created from scratch because they are predefined but we can configure them we can schedule them to run at specific times we can configure them to show information on specific users and on files matching a specific pattern let's look at some of the reports here we have duplicate files File screen and audit. Scroll down. Um, we have files by group. We have files by owner. We have files by property. We have large files. So we have a number of different types of reports that we can generate. For example, we want to do a report on large files on our volume. You can do a report on a specific folder or on a volume or a number of folders. So we're going to click on large files and we may want to edit the parameters. We want to configure or pick out the things that we want to edit the large files for so we want to click on edit parameters you can see here that you can make some changes here you can put the minimum file size and you also can include only those files matching certain criteria for example you might only want to check the large files for an excel file or another type of file so you would simply put the extension in the box provided here. Let's click on OK. We can also include folders, different types of folders that contain applications, backup, files, Google files, user files. So we can include these folders so let's just include all of them because we want to find the largest files on the entire volume now here on the scope we want to click add and we want the complete volume so we're going to click local this C and click OK so the following folders are included in the scope. So for our scope, it's going to be the entire C volume. Then we want to click on OK. Here, you have a choice to generate the report in the background and then go and open that report and look at it. Or we can wait for the report to generate. Now we're going to do the latter one, so we're going to click on OK. We want to open that report, so we're going to double click on large files. For Internet S411, we're going to just say ask me later for that. And here we see a report of the largest files. It gives us the report description, the machine, the folders, the parameters, it gives us the files, the total size on disk, 
and the total size here again. So you have the total size on disk coming here twice. Let's scroll down to see what else we have in the report. We have the report in graph format where you have the largest files and the percentage of the entire disk. And we also have that same information here on the grid in report format where you have the owner, the file, the total size on disk, and the number of files in each particular folder. You also can see that there is a graph for size file by group. And there's also the grid. So this report can give you a lot of information about the files and the folders on your volume or on your folder. But remember, you can only generate this report. You cannot create it from scratch, but you can customize it. This is the end of our session on configuring File Server Resource Manager reports. I want to thank you for listening.